This week I'm filming Friday. I'm doing it from the road because my day job has me traveling. But before I left, in my workshop, I printed four different 3D prints for bending resistor leads for circuit boards. I'll print them out, show you how they worked on today's Felma Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. The first one I found was by user RGN01 on Thingiverse. And then I found this one by Fab Lab Leon, which had extra features. This one seemed like a pretty good one by Hipster Logic. And then this final one had like eight different versions by D. Newman. I ended up printing the wrong one, you'll see in a minute. I printed them all at a 0.3 layer height, and this CR10 just does an amazing job. Even though it's a really big printer, it does small prints really well, and it did a good job with these. This is just a cheap PLA plastic I had laying around, but I was really impressed with the prints. So now, let's evaluate them. Here's the four prints all laid out, and I got two circuit boards to test it on. One is this relay board that I designed a while ago. This is my own design, and I've used 8th watt resistors. And that's what fit in here. And then this is a board from a kit that I'm going to be doing in a future video. And this one uses quarter watt resistors. So I got two different resistor sizes here that I can test. So the first one I chose to test was this triangular one that kind of lifts up. And I noticed that the smallest position barely fits an eighth watt. So I grabbed an eighth watt resistor, slid it onto the end, and then I had to hold it with my finger because there's no slots for this one. Just bent it over and then tried putting it in the circuit board. And I could feel that it wasn't fitting exactly right. And you can see here from an angle that the leads are too far out. So this thing didn't really fit eighth watt. The next one I tried was this bigger one. And right away I noticed it was too big for the eighth watt. And it actually was too big for the quarter watt. And this is totally my mistake. There's like eight different models available for this. And I think I grabbed the wrong one. This one's bigger and it really it's perfect for these breadboards and these making your own breadboard wires like these. Um, here's a larger one, it's a 0.7 I think spacing and it fits in the lowest slot. So this is for some bigger wires and it looks like it would work pretty good if you wanted to make your own wires and then all these, these uh, larger sizes here. So it can be handy, uh, it's just not what I wanted for this test. The triangular design looked very promising when I held it next to the 8th watt it uh, fit on the like the second position and so I figured I'd try that first so I stuck an eighth watt resistor in that slot and it didn't exactly fit in the opening so I had to hold it with my thumb and then bend it and that made it a little bit harder and you can see that the leads are slightly off but uh, it seemed to fit the board pretty good when I pushed it in and everything kind of straightened itself out so this one worked. I give this one credit. This one can do 8th watt resistors. Quarter watt was the next test and there was actually two positions on this thing that would probably work. The fourth one down had a slot to mark where it was so I went with that one. It seemed like the resistor would fit good and the resistor fit inside that nicely. There was actually a little bit of play and because of this it wasn't too hard to hold it and then bend it so they came up pretty straight and then fitting it into the circuit board it fit nicely. So this one so far seems like the best. So now I need to test the next one. I realized I never tested quarter watt on the big bulkier triangle piece. And that had a slot that would fit the quarter watt. So I figured I'd try that one next. And the slots in this thing just aren't very deep. So the resistor leads just don't fit, don't go in. I don't like that at all. This should have deeper slots in it to hold the resistor. So I just bent the leads over and that seemed to work just fine. And then when I stuck it in the circuit board, that seemed to line up. So this one does quarter watt resistors as well. It does that. Just the eighth watt isn't very good, but the quarter watt works pretty good. The final one to test was the one I had the most hope it would work. I liked the way it looked and the size. And it seemed to fit the quarter watt pretty good, but it fitted on like the top slot and the resistor fits in nicely. The grooves are deep, holds the resistor, so it's pretty easy to hold in place and then bend the wires over. But I could tell by looking at this, it's probably not going to fit 8th watt, but it fit the quarter watt perfectly. So this was the best of the bunch for the quarter watt as far as I was concerned, but 8th watt just didn't fit. There was no size that would fit this guy. So that was disappointing. 
um, this thing actually probably needed to come out to a more of a point and then it might have worked so maybe that's something I can modify in Tinkercad but other than that I like this one the best for bending diodes the leads are a little bigger than resistors but it still fit in this one and I like that because it would hold it in place so that's definitely an advantage and these grooves on this bigger block just are terrible so they're It'll still work, but it's just, I don't like that. I don't like that fit at all. And then the little triangular one, um, same kind of thing. Some pieces fit, some didn't, depending on how you want to bend it. This diode fits about the same slot as a quarter watt resistor. And then I have another diode here, which is a 1N914. That's smaller, so there's plenty of space for this guy. And this one, even with its smaller leads, real thin leads, it still wouldn't really fit. <laughs> In this guy so I'm just I'm writing that one off it did fit this last one but it was loose so definitely was loose so these are the three left and this middle one just is got some things wrong with it but it does have this these holes on the end and that's for bending transistors so you stick the transistor in which many times have just straight leads you stick it in push it down and it bends the leads out so that way it can fit into a circuit board and my relay board here has a transistor slot so it just slides right in it works pretty good that actually works pretty good now I buy a lot of times my transistors pre-bent because they'll slide right in easily but if you want to bend leads this that's an advantage this thing has that the other two don't have so let me show you how I actually used to bend them and still do I just grab the body of the resistor bend it with my hands and I'm pretty good at knowing the size I can just get it to fit so there's one for a quarter watt pops right in and then if I want to do an eighth watt it's basically the same thing let me grab another eighth watt here I grab the end push it against the body on both sides pretty quick and it comes out now I designed this board so I know how I want the spacing and it comes out just about perfect to slide right in the board so these tools don't help me that much because I've been doing this for so long but if you want these perfect bends, then these tools would probably work better than what I'm doing here. And of the bunch, I guess this little triangular one is probably the best choice. It's the most universal. But hey, it's, you got a 3D printer, print them all. You can have them all in your shop, including the one for bending the wires. These are handy prints, and I love that I can 3D print them. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to keep printing to see if I can find that perfect tool. And next weekend, May 19th to the 21st, I will be at the Bay Area Maker Fair in the Matter Hackers booth. So if you're coming by, stop and say hi. So that's it. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these other videos popping up. And support me on Patreon, a dollar a month all I ask. And if nothing else, please subscribe, clicking on that little logo. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Film of Friday.